Hey Prime Video fans, if you like the Grand Tour, check out my new show, Richard Hammond's Big, on Discovery Channel. It's going to be fascinating, it's going to be fun, it's going to be, well, it's going to be big. Hi, I'm Richard Hammond, and I've got some big news about my new television series. I'm going to be travelling the globe, taking you behind the scenes at some of the world's biggest feats of engineering. From the world's longest underground railway tunnel to a container ship the size of four football pitches. It's going to be massively fun and exciting. It's going to be big. The key piece of information I haven't divulged to the team yet. I'm really bad with heights. Oh, look at those stairs right yeah. now. Oh, for crying out loud. You're Dutch. You're used to heights. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Tallest nation in the world. You're used to being high up. I don't want to do it. Thank you. This is my happy face. Yes. You won't see this for a bit. Nothing to see here. Just another day out. Oh God! I'm working, I'm working hard. It's got wheels and it moves. I like it. I'm nearly 50. That's, that's a lie. By the time you see this, I probably will be 50. 50? Is this my midlife crisis vehicle? Yes! <laughs> Here's the thing, been on this boat for a few days now and everything is big. Almost unimaginably so, but every now and again we see something that you can kind of recognise. We're filling with fuel. There's, there is the fuel, but it goes all the way to a little pipe here. There's actually a filler and a bloke who connected it. And the last time they filled this through that pipe, nine million litres is what it would have said on the fuel pump. So what I'm asking is who's got a credit card with a lot of space on it? Cameraman, they've always got big credit cards. Definitely. Definitely. Loading valuable dinner services. More to go. <laughs> not too worried about AI taking over now. Are you not? <laughs> <laughs> no. In this episode of Big, I've been looking at a very, very big aeroplane, the C5 Super Galaxy. I don't even know if you can hear me right now. I just climbed up all the way through. It's incredible. It's going to be a great episode. There's a lot of really exciting stuff here. Great. Cut it there. I'm assistant producer on this episode of Big, hey, about the C5 look, Super Galaxy. Look, we're doing our cold opening, it's a convoy scene with Richard out at the helm. So it's all systems go, all hands to the deck. Very exciting time. We're going to be driving the convoy behind me to uh, a super galaxy. We're going to be loading all these Humvees and fuel trucks. Richard's going to be leading the convoy. It's going to look really cool. Uh, it's going to be awesome. Fun day, working with the military, um, and as always they've been incredibly helpful, giving us a load of toys that we need. This is a lot of work for a small scene, but it'll look great. The other thing about working with the military that I always really enjoy, because military and TV, two big organisations that, yeah, they've got times, they've got a hit, but there's a lot of people doing a lot of things, and a lot of time, you're all standing around whilst one guy does one job, setting up a mini camera up there, or in the case of the military, fixing something. So they get us, they're used to the fact that right now, we're all standing around whilst one person is doing one thing, and until they've done that, we can't go. It's him. Until he's rigged that, can't go anywhere. Camera speeds. My name is Robert Taylor. I'm a minicam operator on the show Big. Camera speeds. My job is to take as many dynamic shots as we possibly can. With these tiny little cameras, um, we can stick them on the underside of a plane, we can stick them inside the cockpit, right up against the pilot's face and we can uh, we can get exciting and dynamic shots that most large camera operators can't squeeze into so what we've done today is we've taken mini cams roughly the size of uh, two inches by three inches I outfitted them all over the ISO hangar where they retrofit the plane 
and we've programmed them to film one frame per half second so that we can get some really dynamic, fast-paced energy of the plane coming into the hangar. An action which would normally take a half an hour to two hours, we sort of sped up a little bit in order to get a little bit more bang for your buck. Five is a big thing, so we're filming this different capabilities, showcase what the C5 does, and basically put bases behind the C5. You know, we see this massive aircraft flying in the air, but who works on it? Who, who flies it? So my primary job was to essentially work with everyone on base, at the detachment, over at the fuel systems, and make sure that we were all ready to go and showcase the C5 as well as the people who work and fly on it. Offloading the cargo now, the whole point of this plane is that can be done quickly, but nevertheless, well, it's a big job, isn't it? And it has been astonishing to spend some time with this machine. Now, let's be honest, it's a really big toy. It's an amazing thing to spend time with. Yeah, top bunch of guys, it couldn't have been more helpful, honestly. But I do like it, military and TV working together. I do need a beer. Really need a beer. Is that full of beer? Landing gear might not float your boat normally. I've mixed a metaphor there, but um, what that stuff does is really, really clever. We just had it demonstrated. I won't tell you now, you'll see it in the show, but it is one of those really clever thoughts that means, oh, that makes a huge difference. In there is the secret, really, to why that aeroplane can accommodate so much cargo. I wish I'd thought of it. I don't even know if you can hear me right now, but I just need to remind you and me of something. All of it. We are flying. That's not even a standard hover. It's armor, and you can see it move a little bit occasionally. We're flying. This whole thing. That was really cool. Um, you'll see it in the show. Just got to climb up inside the town. Also, a good time to look at the size of the town. <laughs> Have you ever built those construction kits? Plastic, a certain name, rhymes with airfix. Have you ever built any of those? The tail is a little tiny thing, and I've just climbed it all the way through. It's incredible. Really lucky to get to see it there, and you'll get to see it in the show. It's very cool. Right, there's much to do. Filming the opening of our show about that dam over there, but the first bit calls for me to drive. That car there, Porsche 356, one of my all-time favourites and genuinely I've never driven one until today. Although sitting in it right now is the series producer who's basically sitting there making room noises. <laughs> yeah, it's funny everyone was really happy to get up early this morning to come out and see the car. It's my toy. Horn works. When you watch the show we made about the dam in Austria, You'll have seen all about the incredibly sensitive pendulum that they have here to detect any movement in it or the earth around them. You'll also then appreciate how trusting it is of them to let us into this room here. It looks fairly ordinary, but in there are the actual wires from the pendulum. And we're letting a TV crew in. He's just warned us, Eric, the guy from the dam, that we have to be incredibly careful. If we knock one of those wires, it triggers an alarm in Vienna chaos ensues and I've just watched the clumsiest most chaotic disorganized clattering rattling rambunctious thing in the world a TV crew go in God help us really Albert. What difference is that going to make? There we go. Too tight. Oh, I'm faint. Oh, I'm going. Enough. Okay. That's you ready to go. Oh, God. This is going against. Ah! Everything in my head. Yep. Yep. I'm not looking down. I'm not looking. Oh, good. Oh, I can't keep this up. That's not actually me. I, well, I, I bottled it. It actually went something like this. This really is behind the scenes, because what I'm doing is cheating and lying. The story calls for me to abseil off there. You can have a look. It's deeply unpleasant. Um, what I've done is chicken out, but I've come up with a brilliant plan. I'm supposed to be meeting somebody here to talk about an aspect of the dam. So rather than me abseil, I'm going to get the guy in charge of the ropes to abseil wearing my jacket 
with the moustache and beard painted on. Genius. And then come down here and we'll swap. I put my jacket on and the harness and then Bob's your uncle. They think I'm cool. I style it out. Everybody wins. That's the plan. Right, okay, here we go. Sure. It doesn't got to be brilliant. Just make his top lip black and a bit down the sides right, and his right, chin. Right. Right. Don't pretend like you haven't done it. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> right. right. gentle. You've just abseiled down that wall and he's hurting you with a makeup brush. He'll do your toenails next. He's good at that. You want to see my toenails? Not done. No, you don't. Okay, I think it's pretty good. What do you think? It's great. It's just enough. It's that smacks of Hammond being pitted. Just go away. The oh, magic of TV is good. being spoiled. How do they do these things? things? We look like twins no, separated at me. A lot of testosterone in here. Don't look too long, you'll get pregnant. <laughs> Action. Mate, well done. You really missed out there. Yeah, whatever. Come on, jacket and harness. They will be here in just a sec. Oh, that's uncomfortable. Okay, style it out. Whew, that was a...